continuing forward here, we just finished welding our gussets in here, mostly behind these doors here, because on the ends we could still probably get at that after we've got our 90 degree angle iron put in there. As we take a look underneath here, this this one's kind of almost center of the of the rear door here, and then this is some some uh, support in here for where our uh, center pillar is. Here again is the two supports on either side there, and this is basically center of the door where our center pillar goes. So we've got our support in there, and then we've got another one two at the driver's door and we've got some more work to do in here likely another patch like we did in the front because we've got some holes in the floor here and then we're going to want to kind of close up this back corner in here so nothing gets inside there so we'll want to close that up somehow as well we set everything up on the jigs here set up our 90 degree in the bottom there get our gap and I start tacking it along. I measured it out from the frame in the back, I measured it out from the frame in the front, uh, and tack those two spots. And then just going from there, uh, just little tacks here and there. As I went in, I wanted to capture where all our seams are. Everywhere there's a seam, I'll put a stitch of weld in there just to keep everything true all the way, all the way through. I also crawled underneath there and I uh, tacked where those gussets were at the back of the, the angle iron. So we've got support there as well as this lip all the way across here. We continue to weld this 90 degree angle iron that we put in the bottom there. What I did was I got a one inch square tubing and I still have that C clamped on there so to try to keep it true and maybe possible bit of a heat sink. And then so we're stitching along the bottom but we don't want to get too crazy and just do one spot. I, I opened up the door, we started working on the top and try to move up and down, top and bottom, top and bottom and keep working, working our way along. As we look in here, we had our 90 degree metal that we got from the hardware store that we tacked in there. And that 90 degree metal has these holes in there. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to plug, plug weld all these holes. And those plug welds are going to hold it on the top of the sill plate here. So that's what's holding it on the top. I'll do a plug weld here and then I'll move somewhere else and then back again because we don't want too much heat in one spot to distort everything. If everything works out nice with these uh, plug welds, grounding them down, uh, we will end up with a nice edge once the sill plate's on there and you won't see all that, all that metal underneath there and we can clean that up really nice. Now we have our, our side plate here. Now, all we did before was we had this stitched in behind. You can see the heat there. So basically had that stitched in from behind that was just kind of holding it in place onto here. And then now we don't want to do all our welding down here and nothing up here because then it'll distort because it's just being tacked right there. So we're gonna move, we're gonna move down and then we're gonna do some up here and then down again. What we did was we got this gap in there. So I just take a piece of scrap steel and then I'll fit it into the gap as far as it'll go in there. And then I'll just take a marker and I'll, I'll mark a line on there and then I'll cut that and I'll put it in to fill the gap. Now, if we look over here, there doesn't end up being a gap to fill. So I think, I think it about up to here was where I had to put some filler metal in. What seemed to be work best is if you could see maybe here, I put that filler metal in and then I basically tack these openings and holes from, from this piece here. And I just kind of tack those. And then what I did was I knock it down with the grinder. If we kind of take a look here, I'm knocking it down with the grinder. And then after it's knocked down, then I'm gonna run a bead in. So I run a bead in here and hopefully when it's all said and done, we can knock down the high spots on the bead. Maybe we can even achieve a nice, a nice radius in here when, it, when it's all ground and finished. The only thing is, is I'm missing a spot in behind here. Looks like I'm gonna have to remove the door to get that. Cause even with this door open, it doesn't open enough to be able to get that spot. If we take a look in the back here, uh, this is where we're trying to get a little more grinding finishing get in here to this seam all the way around. I got to get in here with a 
a rotary tool or something. Can't quite get in there with uh, the grinder that I'm using. And then uh, touch this up in here, grinding this along there. And then you can see where I still got some bead to uh, grind off. And then again, this is as far as I could go without removing the door here. Now the next thing is, is gonna be for the actual rock slider uh, portion of this thing. So I don't know if you uh, might remember one of the first videos, this was one of the first things I started playing around with. I constructed this sleeve, if that's what we wanna call it, to accept our metal for our rock slider. The reason I started off with this is because that has to go on underneath the vehicle and this is like our starting point. So then I needed to determine how much metal we need here. So that was the whole point behind that. And this actually, if you take a look, like this, so this is only two inch uh, flat here. Now, if you take a look at the factory um, rocker panel there, uh, I believe it's more like four to six inches, something like that. It's way, it's gonna be more than what this is, but that determined this. And now we have to go back to this to figure out where we need to install these. And then, so again, this is like the sleeve. And then this is the uh, square tubing that's gonna go inside there. So right back from the beginning, this is our area where we, we cut our old one out. So this has got to go in here. And once we determine where that needs to go, then we've got some metal work to do here on the front here, and then again on the back. As always, I start off with a cardboard template because you can fabricate this and alter it uh, really easy to figure out what you need to build, and then you build it out of metal. So far, this is my first attempt at the metal sleeve that I'm going to install in there. This was all flat metal and then I just, I measured it and then I formed it. So these sides here, I uh, formed, formed those lips on there. And then this is separate from that lip. And then again on the other side, I basically wrapped it around our uh, metal here and I used some C-clamps and stuff and then I just kind of seam welded it here and there. Now, uh, once we figure out where to put it, uh, we'll install that and that's the next part to work on. 